I believe it was. Now, if it's all-wheel drive, I don't really think it'd make a difference, and here's one of the reasons why. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Eclectic Beard, where variety is the spice of life, and hopefully you can find some of that spice here. I'm going to tell you what. One of the big things has been that's been talked about since the Tesla unveiling has been the Tesla Cybertruck and F-150 tug of war. Um, I think this was probably one of the most perfect bits of marketing that could be done by Elon Musk. And it's, it's worked out totally in their favor. Watch the video and I'll tell you the reason why and whether or not I think they're actually, it's actually an apple to oranges or apple to, uh, apples to apples uh, test. One of the things everybody's like, oh, it's a two-wheel drive versus two-wheel drive. Take a comeback from right here. And we'll see, this is, it's going backwards. Look right here, the front wheels and the back wheels are spinning at the same rate. I believe this was a two-wheel drive. I believe it was. Now, if it's all-wheel drive, I don't really think it'd make a difference, and here's one of the reasons why. You've got instant torque to the tires, number one. You've got instant torque to both of the tires, being a rear-wheel drive vehicle. So, even though uh, both two-wheel drive vehicles have that instant torque, this has got to take and catch that bit of grip. It's not going to take and it's got to build up to that grip. It's not going to because the engine has to engage that drive shaft. The drive shaft has to take and move the transmission, and the axle has to take and move those tires. Whereas you take and as soon as you hit the gas pedal on that on that cyber truck, instantly you've got the torque, so it's instantly going to start pulling. pull there we go and as you can see bring it back here look at that front tire it's not pulling any faster than that back tire the back tire is actually moving faster at one point than what that front tire is moving and i know it's hard at that angle to see but see the back tire is moving faster I think this was two-wheel drive versus two-wheel drive. Like I said. Like I said. It being the torque going ex straight to those tires. As soon as you push that gas pedal. This truck doesn't have. This truck didn't have a chance. Not only that. People are speculating. Oh, that, that truck. The Cybertruck probably. Weighs, the Cybertruck probably weighs more than what the Ford F-150 does. Okay, even if that's the case, you take a load that F-150 down. It's not going to take get the grip needed to stall the momentum gained by the Cybertruck as soon as it hits that gas pedal. It's just not. Um, if this is all-wheel drive versus four-wheel drive, uh, that would be an unfair advantage. But... You put the four-wheel drive versus all-wheel drive, and I think it's going to be the same difference. You take and watch a lot of these. You take and watch vehicles or videos on YouTube with all-wheel drive versus four-wheel drive, and the all-wheel drive takes and moves the four-wheel drive nine times out of ten. This is perfect marketing because, number one, it gets people talking about what the test is showing. It gets controversy stirred. Well, that's an all-wheel drive motor. Or all-wheel drive model versus two-wheel drive motor, uh, two-wheel drive model. This is perfect marketing because it starts with controversy. People going, "Oh, this is an all-wheel drive versus two-wheel drive." 
So you've already got people looking at it because number one, it's making Ford look bad. Number two, people are going, well, wait a minute, that's an all-wheel drive model. And number three, the people that don't care and just want to see something being drugged, they watch the Ford get drugged. And you've got these enthusiasts, whether they be Chevy, Dodge, or Ford, they're like, oh, you know, Ford found on road dead. So I think this was the perfect, like this was brilliant marketing. I honestly think this was a two-wheel drive model versus two-wheel drive model. Because you take a look at the way the wheels in the front went and the way the wheels in the back went. The wheels in the front didn't go any faster than the wheels in the back at all. All-wheel drive versus a two-wheel or four-wheel drive. If there's any kind of friction, you'll see both of them slipping. There wasn't any slippage whatsoever. Front didn't move any faster. Back was actually moving faster than the front. So which means it's telling me that that's telling me that it's actually moving the truck forward. So and it's only going to take and go forward as fast as what the back wheels are pushing it. That being said, I, I think that, like I said, this is just perfect, perfect marketing. Elon Musk is a genius. Absolute genius. People got to watch a Ford get drug, stirs up controversy, and gets people talking. Not only that. The VP of Ford actually took and tweeted out, let's try apples to apples. Elon Musk replied, all right, let's take and set it up. And Ford backed out. So that tells you they're not as, as confident as what they're taking and as what they initially claimed. So, but let me know in the comments what you think. Was this an all-wheel drive? Was this a two-wheel drive model? Which one was it? If you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Y'all have a lovely one. Peace out.